love how Virgo, as soon as I split the deck to shuffle in, I see the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups. So I feel a vibe of some sort of union coming together. But let's shuffle in and see what's going on with the Virgos. I just did a reading earlier and I spoke about the pink star, which is um, seen in the constellation Virgo, which is why we're here. It's been a while since I did Zodiacs, but I feel like the Virgos are really calling. Yes, look at that. They're, they're trying to see if it's, if they got the clear, if the coast is clear, if it's, if they're okay to take action but i feel like even if the coast isn't clear they're coming and they're going to break through the motherfucking gate let's tap into the past energies of virgo first recent past to see what's the vibe like what's virgo been going through spirit Wow, something that kind of shifted. A lot of shifting energies, Virgo. Something I just heard isn't working out. Something could have caused the Virgos to feel emotionally depleted. What happened in the past, Spirit with Virgos? <gasps> Another reversal? What the fuck? Yeah, so whatever happened, it caused you to really let go. Let go. I feel like Virgos didn't have any more emotions towards this person. Yeah, they even lost um, passion for this person. So there was no emotions, no passion in this relationship. And I feel like there could have been a feminine around that was really depleting this masculine from his emotions and keeping it all to herself. Holding on to he, his emotions and could have also been keeping him back from his riches, really leaving him out in the cold. Causing him to worry. I feel like he even had to walk away from friends and family. Oh my goodness. But he's no longer... feeling wounded about it. Oh my gosh, what the fuck is going on? Well, we're going to leave it as it is because I just feel like everything was upside down. Everything was upside down. Everything got exposed. What was being hidden got exposed. These hidden emotions even. Hiding money somebody could have been hiding a relationship even <sighs> that happens in the past so let's tap into what's going on in the present moment i do see the virgos remaining hopeful but i feel the divines calling them to close out some sort of karmic cycle. I feel like some sort of lesson was learned. Or. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to say or. Let's tap into the present energies. Virgo presently opening up 
So Virgos could be opening up, wanting to reunite with someone. Or maybe this reunion has happened. Which caused you to... Feel some sort of sadness. But I feel like it was also opening the Virgos up to their emotions. And opening them up to exposing whatever happened in the past. Yep. Which allowed them to walk away. Walk away from things that weren't emotionally fulfilling. Walk away from things that were stressing them out. Causing them to feel exhausted. Walking away from a space where they were carrying the weight on their own. And the divines are guiding the Virgos to do so. I feel the Virgos kind of confused but the divines are causing them to also feel at ease like okay okay so carrying the weight carrying the weight there could have some sort of really controlling possessive, jealous, envious, toxic energy still lingering around. But I feel like some sort of reunion happened with someone else. But there's still this toxic person around. But Virgos have to step into their God of Swords energy and really not let their emotions get in the way and think really logically about things. So they can move away from whoever is causing this difficulty within their life. Causing them to be financially, emotionally, and physically depleted. And I feel that whatever this Virgo is saying to this feminine around him, this toxic feminine around him, someone who stresses him the fuck out, it's going to cause this feminine to feel really broken i feel like she cracked i feel like she cracked there could have had some sort of altercation some sort of argument i feel like he told her to leave or he said something or he did something he saw something he saw something He said how he felt and what he saw or maybe he didn't have to say anything I'm seeing like his eyes said it all which caused a feminine to fully walk away this time and it could have been really sad and hard for her to walk away but there was no love there I just heard Let's tap into the future energies. Future can be a second from now, <laughs> right? Today, um, later on today, tomorrow, all that good things. Future energies, what's coming to the Virgos in the future? And this could be for all the collective, right? This could be... Um, Virgo season, which is a long time from now. What is that? September? Or it could also be um, like when it's the Virgo moon. Virgo moons, if you keep up with moon phases. So what's coming for Virgos in the future? Oh my gosh, two of cups automatically. As soon as that person walks away, 
As soon as Virgo says what they have to say and clears the motherfucking space, this new person is going to allow you to feel stable. You feel like you met your match. A lot of telepathic communication. A lot of eye contact. And this person is going to allow you to feel at ease because they're at ease with themselves. They're bringing a lot to the table. I'm seeing they have their own cup. So they're not going to take from yours, Virgo. They're also going to allow you to fully let go of the past. I'm seeing they're going to cause you to drop your ego they're dropping their ego as well yes and when you drop your ego you're gonna be like yeah you know what this is a good investment i really feel like investing my time and energy into this person into this career even into this career this collaboration i feel like things weren't working out because someone was in the way yeah, look, someone was in the way and it's time to fucking get your sort of truth out and move them out the fucking way. It's, I also see for Virgos, it's a wise investment to step into your power and think logically, you know, in the vibes of winning at all costs, whatever it takes. I just heard. Whatever it takes to complete this fucking cycle. Wow. Death. Look at that. Death. No longer reuniting with these people. I'm seeing like even blocking the fucking, blocking their number, changing your number, relocating even. Because you're dropping that heavy burden. Somebody, somebody's getting dropped. And it may feel like you may be dropping a bomb on them, I just heard. But you see things clearly now. I feel like it's been long overdue. And you're no longer wanting to reunite. You see how the Four of Wands fell on the death card. I'm hearing the Divines call, um, call you to not meet up with these people because there's something new coming in and if you keep being around people like that they're going to block these blessings and cap off your emotions they want to put a lid on this but i feel like you know the divines that white bird and the fucking white bird just flew by you have to see things from a higher perspective and I feel like this individual around you sees things from a really lower perspective. Yeah, it's time to walk away. It's time to walk away. Walk away in your truth. It was a long, windy fucking road. But it's time to walk away. And look, that's going on that Two of Cups energy. It's a wise investment to walk away. So the future energies, they may be coming back around again, right? But you still got that Two of Cups vibe still there waiting. Lingering in your energetic field. Waiting to reunite with you. But if you keep accepting crumbs from people that don't love you and support you, then it blocks out all that blessings. Look, truth, justice, you're going to have justice. You're getting justice and your justice is you winning, you succeeding, things turning in your favor. You feeling abundant, being abundant. Look at that. Somebody has to be single. But I'm seeing this person around you, this Two of Cups energy, they, they really like to do things solo. 
They like to be alone. They don't, they stand out in the crowd. Because they're really tapped into nature. This could be someone who's really grounded. I see a butterfly. They're really transformed. They like to explore. And I feel like Virgos really like to explore either. Yeah. So this truth that's coming out, this justice, it's going to, you know, cause that people around you to hit rock bottom because they were probably living off your success. But I also feel like whatever I'm seeing, don't worry, because they're going to find their their match as well. I feel like somebody's worried, like they're going to be leaving someone behind. But they actually have someone waiting for them, too. They have something new waiting for them. But they need to shift their perception. That's not really your problem. But I feel like Virgos are so caring and loving and they want to make sure everyone is okay look the supreme went right on top of the wheel of fortune this person that's coming towards you they they bring everything to the table they bring everything to the table wow look at that yes and we have the motherfucking god of pentacles but this rock bottom person was keep blocking your way to meet your match to come towards your perfect person yeah those those um commitment issues somebody had a hard time committing in the past but we're not tapping into past energy right this is the future so you are meeting your match virgo you're meeting your match wow i split it in half so you're saying goodbye to people who have commitment issues who probably looked good on the outside, but was rotten on the inside. And you're moving towards your happily ever after. Look at that rainbow. I feel like a lot of you have been seeing rainbows lately. The divines have been telling you to remain hopeful. To make sure you're putting those wishes out. Oh my gosh, it was just 1717. The star card. Using those stars to navigate. I feel like Virgo feels like they're in a dark space. But you're in the dark space for a reason. Use those stars as a tool to navigate and find your way to make those wishes again. To remain hopeful and faithful to the things that you value. Oh, the lovers. So somebody, and of course, somebody does have a choice, right? But I feel like Virgo will make the logical and emotional correct choice, spiritual as well. What feels fulfilling? Where's your happy place? I'm seeing like Happy Gilmore, I just thought of. I just thought of Happy Gilmore and the grandma. Wow, you could have like a, a family member that, you know, passed away. Or maybe they're still alive, excuse me. But whether they transitioned or they're still here in the physical, I feel like they always reminded you to think of your happy place. I feel like they're guiding you to show you even where your happy place is because I feel like some of you have forgotten. Someone you, Some of you have been living in this mundane rather than joy and excitement and celebrations celebrating every day but there is a choice you know you want somebody that makes you feel out of balance or do you want somebody that brings every single thing that you could ever imagine to the fucking table that spiritual connection emotional mental sexual all those things your fucking perfect match. The yin to their fucking yang. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Virgo. I'm loving it for you. We are going to get our angels and ancestors to lighten up the mood. To see what sort of advice the divines have for you today when you're moving about. 
I am loving it. My heart space is like, I feel nervous energy. Share and patience. Whoa, I said angels and ancestors, but I guess we're doing a creativity first. What advice do you have for Virgos moving forward? Nurture for self-care. Try loving and nurturing yourself as you would a, a child or pet. So you're being called to really take care of yourself, Virgo. Stay grounded. Make sure you're eating the right things, drinking the right things, listening to the right music and watching, you know, the right movies, not focusing so much on the news and the propaganda. Um, completion. I'm seeing that's going to bring this cycle to a closing when you start focusing on self and loving yourself. Also surrounding yourself with the right people, right? People that you would trust around your children. If you don't trust these people around your children, then they shouldn't be around you. Hi, Hina. We got the neighbor's cat over here. She's probably looking for that mouse. I did a video right before this. You guys should go check it out because I feel like this pertains to you as well. Um... But yeah, it's about adapting. And I feel like you're being curious and there's some sort of sneaky cat. I love cats, but I'm seeing it in a different way. They're coming around, snooping around, trying to find out what you're doing, where you're going, who you're with, who you're looking at, who you're talking to, all this shit, right? But I also see it as your guides coming in to clear out some sort of infestation, I feel like someone's infested by parasites and this could be parasitic people, right? Toxic individuals. But maybe there is some sort of parasitic cleanse that you're being called to do because, you know, um, disease, dis-ease comes from a spiritual sense as well. When there's toxic people around you, they could turn into living parasites in your body right and even fears the fears can be a parasite as well if you want to be free from fears and phobias then you have to understand why they exist and make peace with them so what are you fearful of fearful of letting someone go letting someone in why and I feel like you taking care of yourself will allow you to get to the bottom of these fears and phobias. Somebody could have a mouse phobia, right? A fear of mice. So it's like getting to the bottom of that. Why are you afraid of mice? Did something happen in your childhood that caused you to fear these small little creatures, you know, that actually come packed with powerful messages that you could be running away from running away from being curious change see for a change do something you would usually do a certain way in a different way that's the chariot card so i'm seeing the completion the wheel of fortune your luck coming in your luck turning through self-care and being careful of the things on your mind because they could manifest. You're really in your magician energy and the things that you're taking action towards, the things that you're thinking, saying, could manifest. So shift the fear into... Or also tap into fe your fear, right? Letting your fear be your compass. Letting it guide you out of a space. Or also letting it guide you into a space when it comes to you taking a leap of faith. Guide you to make a change, to do something differently. What feels scary to do right now? What are you jumping into, jumping out of that feels scary? What are you procrastinating about? Like, okay, I'm going to leave. Okay, I'm going to quit. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be open. Stop procrastinating. 
Stop worrying about the problem. Stop making excuses. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Two chariots taking action, coming towards each other. Both of you, this new person, doing things differently. Doing it differently, right? And that's temperance. Know that this is a space where what, what once seemed impossible is possible. So forget about what you lost and use both your intellect and skills to transcend this space into light. Trust that you are exactly where you're supposed to be on this journey. Use this moment to channel the divine energy you need to flow into your destiny. Oh my God, Virgos, beautiful things are coming. Why the hell are we on for 25 minutes though? Let's close this up. You guys needed me, huh? Willpower. Use your willpower to bravely overcome thoughts of compromise and defeat. Use your willpower, Vir Virgos. I feel like somebody may be coming in trying to get you to compromise, trying to make you feel defeated, trying to defeat you even. Just remain strong. Remain strong. Do you trust this person around your children? Does your children feel comfortable around this person? Does your inner child feel comfortable around this person? I feel like this new person that's coming towards you awakens your inner child. Like, I see like a glow, a, a spark of magic. Oh my gosh, what, what song is that? There's a spark of magic in your eyes. Candyland appears each time you smile. What a rainbow in your perfect plan. Bet you by golly line. You're the one that I've been waiting for forever. And ever will my love for you keep growing strong. Was it this reading? It was either this reading or the last reading before this when I said that they are using music to communicate with you. The songs that you've been channeling are messages from them. They've been waiting for you, Virgo. You've been waiting for someone like them. Step into your high priest power. Focus on the things that you value. Learn from spiritual experiences. Be devoted and committed and intend and create. So learn from these things, right? These experiences in the past that hurt you but also allowed you to bloom. Be devoted and committed to rewriting your story. And through the rewriting or the revising... That's you setting your intentions and you creating this new life for you. And that we're in Venus retrograde, so a lot of shifts are occurring. What you thought you had, what you thought was secure, I feel like Virgo is looking around like, what the fuck? Things are being shifted, even if it's a mindset. I don't know what it is, Virgo, but things are being shifted during this Venus retrograde. And it's time to reassess the people around you. I feel like there's a lot of stink ass energy around you. Yes, look at that. Release the Odin rest. And look at that, that crow vibes. A lot of stink energy. A lot of stink energy around us trying to like tap in. I don't want to get back into that. But there is because they see something growing. You could have planted something, right? They see something growing. They're trying to get you to get out of character, keep your guards up, but just keep moving forward, Virgo. I do want to read a page from the I'm Badass at Making Money book because I feel like it's not only money, right? Money is energy, so I feel like there's some sort of blockage, something you're keeping yourself from. <sighs> you have a job, 
This could be a person too, okay? You have a job, a person, something you hate and you're bored to death by because you're unauthorized to hate or be bored by the thing you spend your most most of your waking hours doing you must quit but before you quit be grateful to this job that it's supporting you and leading you towards your dream job also see number five in this section okay so we'll flip to number five but i feel number five that's a big change that's a big change, but I also just saw five of wands, competition, chaos, obstacles. But number five is the Hierophant. Somebody wanted so badly to be accepted, and I feel like somebody wasn't accepting you for who you were, and that triggered you to examine your personal beliefs. And it triggered you to ask your ancestors for help but i'm seeing be grateful i feel like something some sort of cycle can't be closed off until you accept and acknowledge it for what it was and you be grateful because it allowed you to gain access to a path that you didn't have access to before this situation even if it's heartbreak it allowed your heart to crack open and expand. I feel like somebody had their heart unlocked. Maybe you had it locked and set on a certain person, but it was causing you to be small-minded, I just heard. There was no balance between the head and heart. And now that you're opening up, your heart expands Write down all the specifics, right? Oh my gosh, that was the high priest. Oh no, that was a sage, right? The, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a sage and the high priest and we just saw the hierophant energy. So you're stepping into your high priest energy, Virgos. This is for the feminines as well, right? Um, thinking more logically, if you used your emotions, you know, you let your emotions get you carried away into things that weren't for you. So write down all the specifics that are important to you about your dream job, your dream person, your dream location, dream home, car, whatever it is, how much money you make, what kind of people you work with and or for you. What kind of people you work with or what kind of people work for you? Which skills you use in your job? What do you wear to work? How does it feel going to work? Do they have a free bagel station every Thursdays? Make your dream job so real you can see it. Most important, feel it. Meditate on this image and this feeling day and night. Be grateful that it exists. Have a solid rock, a rock solid. Hmm, rock solid, huh? Solid rock, I said in there. Solid rock. Oh, yes. Who is that? Sizzla. Solid as a rock. They can't keep a good man down. I'm so solid as a rock. They just can't stop me now. Even when they set up roadblocks, they just can't stop me now. Oh, it's 33. That's the Ba'a card. In the mana deck, I, I will be pulling a few from the mana deck. So somebody's trying to set up roadblocks, but they can't stop you, Virgo. They can't stop you. Sizzla, solid as a rock. Check that song out. So I got Bet You By Golly Wow and Sizzla. Interesting, Virgo. That could be your person also communicating to you, right? Somebody could be trying to set up roadblocks for your person. And there's no stopping them from coming towards you. So, have rock-solid faith that it's on its way towards you and watch your mouth. No nonsense like, it's so hard to find work. The perfect person, the perfect house, job, whatever. I'm freaking out. The economy sucks. I'm too old. This is taking forever. Do I look like I'm about to burst into, into tears? 
Is that why nobody's hiring me? Keep your thoughts, words, and beliefs and feelings aligned with the job you seek. And don't stop until you get there. Remember that what you're seeking is also seeking you. Do every single solitary thing you know to do to get your job. Tell every single person you know and every single person there know that you're looking for, especially people you're scared to talk to. Put your resume online. Job hunting on... Excuse me. So somebody's freaking out about that too, right? Somebody's freaking out about being open. So letting people know, I'm looking for this person. I'm looking for this job, right? Um, online job hunting sites. Talk to people who work in your industry and ask for advice and leads. Hire a headhunter. Do everything and then some more. Your job is here. You cannot have the desire for the job if it doesn't exist. Keep your faith strong, your frequency high, your gratitude endless, your mind wide open and your efforts unceasing until it appears. Seize the se stepping stones. If the job you're looking for or person is taking a while to find you, take the job that leads you closer. It may not be totally perfect, but if it gets you into a world you wanna be in, e.g. being, in, being the assistant to an agent if you want to be an agent, working, in an ad agency as a secretary, if you want to be a copywriter, work in a restaurant in the fashion district in your city, if you want to get into fashion, anything that will put you in contact with people you want to meet and or the skill set you need to learn, jump on it, learn everything you can. Meet as many people as you can meet. Keep your eye on the prize. Do your best, regardless of which path you're on. Here are some critical basic things you need to be doing if you want to get rich. Treat money the way you like to be treated. Get clear on how much money you want to have, you're bringing in. Treat money with, with respect. Hire professionals to help you manage your money if you're feeling confused or overwhelmed or clueless. Financial planners, accountants, bookkeepers. Do not ask your broke-ass friend for financial advice. For the love of God, turn to people who know what the hell they're doing. Be a good host. Make room for your money or person. Make it feel welcome. Nature hates a vacuum. So create space for your money. For new money to feel, fill up. Get a, um, Don't take failure personally. Get out of your... Get your ego out of it and your curi curiosity into it. Approach failure with an attitude. Hmm, I wonder why that happened. Was there something I could have done differently? Don't fall into the trap of creating an award-winning drama around failure and using it as proof that you're a moron, doomed, never going to get what you want. If you have the desire to get rich, there's a way there. Temporary failure becomes permanent defeat only when you say so. I love you so much, Virgos. Let's close this off, all right? Let's close this off. I love you all so much. That was a beautiful read. I just flipped it on page 222. That's 222. You could be seeing a lot of 222s at this time. And that's also number six, which is the lover's card, having to choose, having to choose. But it also speaks of being on the same vibe. No more already, baby. Sorry. I know. Make a sigh. Okay. Treat everyone with, with respect and do your best no matter what. I love you all. And that's, you know, that's the vibe that you need to be on as well. Making sure everybody's treating you with respect. Virgos, I love you. Aloha. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is found in the description box. 
give me a follow at my Instagram at Koa Rising, K-O-A-R-I-S-I-N-G. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment what resonates. Comment your goals for today, for 2022. You know, keep the algorithm going. The more you like, the more you comment, the more it keeps it flowing. Aloha.